So, welcome to today's video. Uh, according to the thumbnail and the title, you know what's going on today. We've got two Mercedes Benz C classes. Um, I'm gonna switch you guys over so you can have a look. So, we've got this one right here, this beauty right here C180 facelift. Um, so, what's happening here is there's a random oil leak. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys can see there at the bottom. There's a lot of oil on the belly pan. So we are currently tracing that. I've checked everything, removed the oil, um, air filter housing, which is that one right there. Um, just checked right here at the top, nothing from the top. So it looks like our leak is not exactly coming from the top. Um, so meaning it's somewhere at the bottom. So what we simply gonna do is um basically check the car up remove the belly pin and hopefully we can see where it's seeping from and then that should be the fix for this one this one however um we were doing a cylinder head job because um, the oil cooler went bad on this one so it mixed oil and coolant so yeah so just got back the cylinder head from engineering um so we're just gonna basically replace the head gasket put the cylinder back do the timing and yeah hopefully by end of today so it's gonna be a busy day we are pushing guys it's it's a mercedes day today <laughs> yeah but um we're gonna start with this one with this baby right here so yeah i'm just gonna quickly check the car up and then i will update you guys on what we find all right so it looks like um the leak is coming from the crank port now the reason why i say that i will show you guys just now and um, if we come down here you can see the oil pan uh, saturated with oil at the bottom and no it's not coming from the sun plug because there's a trail of oil from up there if you can see that so following it up you can see that section of the oil pan at the top is dry but if we go all the way you guys won't be able to see, my camera is not focusing, but there we go, just below the crank pulley, there seems to be um, some oil saturation right there, so I would say that is our culprit, that is definitely our culprit, because this is definitely engine oil, definitely engine oil, um, so if we look at it from the top as well looking at that crank pulley you see how all uh, right let's get you guys right there you see how there's this layer of basically dust that's sticking to some oil it kind of indicates that um, the seal is leaking therefore the oil on the crank pulley Therefore, the reason why we have this build-up of this dust uh, with the oil. Yeah, and the pulley bolt is actually oily there. Yeah. Um, definitely sold. That is our issue right there, although the oil is a lot. But it seems like we found our culprit. And, yeah. That shouldn't be bad enough to replace. That's definitely doable. I'm just gonna get um, a replacement seal. We're gonna slap that on. And we should be golden. Give it a wash, monitor it, and we should be good. Right. So, that's definitely not bad. Um, I thought it was gonna be worse. I thought we were gonna find some issues maybe with the oil cooler or what. I don't know why my mind went all the way um, to the top but um, anyway I'm just happy we found the issue and I'm gonna talk to the client let's see what's our way forward 
I'm definitely sure we're gonna replace that um, and then take it from there. Yeah. Alright, and with the magic of YouTube, we've got our seal right here. We are good to go. So, yeah, we should be done with this baby very soon. So, I managed to get this at Goldwagen. Wasn't bad, it was about 175. Yeah. So, we're just gonna dig deep into that and um, hopefully, we'll be done soon. The first thing we need to do is remove the fan belt. So to do that on the tensioner here, um, you use a 17 uh, millimeter Maltes blind socket uh, with your power bar or ratchet, and then you pull it towards your left. All right, so that will release the tension on the belt just like so. All right, and then you can take your belt out. Now, because I'm filming, it's going to be very hard for me to do both at the same time. So I'm just going to take the belt off and then um, we'll take it from there. Right, so this is probably not the best method to hold the pulley on. It's a bit risky, but that's how I did it. I uh, put a big screwdriver through one of the pulley holes right in there. Then I used my it's a 27 socket uh, with the short extension and my very long power bar and that got loose then I used my long ratchet and then now she's coming loose so once that bolt is out we can try to get the crank fully off um, then we access the seal and drop down yeah fun Alright, so there's our culprit right there. That, that still looks very wet, so I'll say this is a win. Um, yeah, just gonna get a flat screwdriver, pry that seal off, and then we can oil the new seal and basically put it back on. And with the magic of YouTube, the seal is back on. That's the brand new seal. Now, just need to put back the crank pulley. Just gonna clean it up. Uh, then, yeah. Alright guys, from the looks of it, we're done, um, everything's buttoned up, there's only one thing missing, which is the top cover, but I think I'll leave that off for now, um, what I just want to do now is just start the car, get it running, you know, monitor for any visible leaks that we can possibly see, uh, while it's running, I'm gonna wash the um, under trays, and as soon as I'm done with that, if there are no leaks, I'm gonna put that back on then we're gonna continue to wash the engine uh, make sure it's good for the client and after that we're done
done with more power of YouTube. We are finally done. Everything's buttoned up. Um, the under trays are on. Um, now I just need to get the car on the ground. And we're done. Alright guys, so that's a wrap for today. This car is getting ready to go back home. Um, tested it for a while now, no more leaks. So yeah, the issue is fixed. Thank you guys for watching and as always if you enjoyed the video give it a like and subscribe. See you next one. Everybody will be dancing and feeling it right. Everybody will be dancing and feeling it right. Everybody will be dancing and be.